the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Richard Simon, uh, uh, and, and of course, uh, the issue has to do with uh, his stay on death row as well as his uh, stay in the uh, general population after spending 16 years uh, on death row. Let's uh, pick that up uh, again, Richard. Well, uh, Dr. Hain, like I said, getting off death row and coming to general population was a big transition, just like getting out of prison, coming back to society mm -hmm. was a big transition. Mm -hmm. But out here, I could ask for help. Mm -hmm. And there, the condition and mindset you put on the front. Mm -hmm. So I was still going through putting on the hit, mm -hmm. saying like I was all right, it wasn't hurting. Mm -hmm. So I had a hard transitional period, but it was mm -hmm. made easier mm -hmm. by some of the friends, some of my mm -hmm. spiritual brothers. Mm -hmm. They helped me along the way, and they said I was frustrated. Mm -hmm. But one of my reasons for coming today was to sh try to sh give something back mm -hmm. because of my blessing and my mercy, mm -hmm. and extend an invitation out there to the young people, man. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn about prison, you don't have to go to learn about it. Mm -hmm. There's many people that wouldn't let you know mm -hmm. that you can avoid it. Mm -hmm. Don't go. Okay. So I, I throw this out there. Any young person that's uh, <laughs> curious about prison, just call me, man. Don't, don't catch no case. Cause, okay. cause mm -hmm. it, you don't want to do it like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And But prison, just like, man, we talk about the young people. You see the young guys come in there, mm -hmm. and uh, man, when I got locked up, it was a lot of quote unquote, no disrespect to the audience is a lot of homosexual behavior. Mm -hmm. We call it booty banners. Mm -hmm. And then nowadays, a lot of them young guys running out of their pants, hanging out of their behind. Mm -hmm. A lot of us old heads couldn't understand mm -hmm. how the young people could be advertising themselves like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. in that type of environment. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're saying, that the younger generation, mm -hmm. which is partly our fault because we weren't there to guide them mm -hmm. and direct them, giving them a proper mm -hmm. motivation and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. they were led astray. Mm -hmm. by the masses or by the streets of their desires. Mm -hmm. I don't know who all to blame, mm -hmm. but I think we all share the blame. Yeah. And the prison has changed. You know, mm -hmm. when the young people came in, there wasn't no self-respect. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no respect for your cellmate. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of drama. You know, there's a lot mm -hmm. of stuff that, uh, like you say, oil, oil and water don't mix. Mm -hmm. Sometimes old and young don't mix mm -hmm. because, you know, they don't want to, when you take a guy, quote unquote, was making $10,000 a week doing his thing, mm -hmm. how you gonna listen to a guy that's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. been in prison 20 years, said, man, you ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. I got five houses out there. Mm -hmm. So they, a lot of people got caught up mm -hmm. into the material thing, mm -hmm. and prison strips you of that. Mm -hmm. And once you realize that you don't have anything but what the state issues you, mm -hmm. or allow you to have, mm -hmm. it really puts, it put me back in perspective. Mm -hmm. No matter what, I, I had my goals and my dreams, mm -hmm. but if they didn't open the door, I couldn't get out. Good. I was like powerless mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. prison. All the mm -hmm. stuff I wanted to do, it was okay. just thought. Mm -hmm. I was like powerless. That's not a good feeling for a man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It wasn't a good feeling for me. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to get my empowerment back, which was quote unquote, mm -hmm. trying to get out of prison. Mm -hmm. And how do you get out of prison? Put yourself in a position that you're worthy of a second chance. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I was guilty of the crime I committed, so I couldn't, excuse mm -hmm. me, sign a loophole. Okay. I had to throw myself on the mercy mm -hmm. of the parole board. All right. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you got to have a a good record. A record, okay. You know what I mean? You can't be uh, <clears throat> acting a fool then say, okay, let me back out to the uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm going to be all right. You got <laughs> right. to gotta show good character. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't just trying to show good character to get out. I mm -hmm. wanted to stay out. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to adopt some behavior to where if I did get out, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be back in this situation again. Mm -hmm. So I was constantly, constantly trying to be better, be mm -hmm. better. And then I was working. Mm -hmm. And as you know, I hurt my eyesight while I was working. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, that didn't deter me. Mm -hmm. I still wanted to be a nice person, mm -hmm. quote unquote, when I got out and be where there was a second chance. Mm -hmm. And my religious environment, my spirituality, mm -hmm. basically is the main reason to why I got some understanding about what my purpose in life Good. was. Mm -hmm. My purpose in life is not to chase all the women, not mm -hmm. make all the money, not have all the cars. Mm -hmm. It's to aid the person next to me, mm -hmm. to help my neighbor. Mm -hmm. be a good part of the community. Mm -hmm. If someone's in trouble, move that lamb out their way. Mm -hmm. Just, oh, man, you help. Yes, you do got to help somebody because my mother might need some help. Mm -hmm. My child might need some help. Good. So mm -hmm. you got to reap what we sow. We got to send it out. Mm -hmm. So for me, spirituality, Islam, as mm -hmm. my wife was telling me the other night, saved my life. Mm -hmm. It changed my mindset. Now, mm -hmm. it's not going to save me. I'm not going to mm -hmm. live forever. All right. But I'm going to mm -hmm. live a life to where, mm -hmm. to the point to where I'm not going to be bitter. I'm mm -hmm. not going to hate. So it saved my Spiritually, it made mm -hmm. you make a happy person. Mm -hmm. Because how can you be so happy about your eyesight? Because, man, life is good. Mm -hmm. I can be alive and blind, or I can be dead with my eyesight. All right. Which do I want? You know, mm -hmm. I had two choices made. Do I want to go back to death row? Mm -hmm. People said, man, if we wouldn't get off death row, you had your eyesight. But come on, man, I'd have been dead. All right. You know what I mean? That's so it, if I got a choice. <laughs>